Shalom friends, welcome to Daf Reactions, Kedushin 29. So Abaye was having a little bit of a demon infestation problem at his Beit Midrash, attacking people in broad daylight, which we know is a bit out of character. Usually in the Talmud, demons would prefer to be left alone to mind their unproblematic demon business, far away from the terrible influence of human beings. Because of this situation, the Yelp reviews of Abaye's Beit Midrash were not good. Well that, and it also didn't have a lot of parking. It was like a Trader Joe's parking lot. So Abaye hears that Rav Acha Bar Yaakov is coming to study Torah with him, yay! And Abaye has an idea. Maybe this is an opportune moment to fix the whole infestation thing. Now I know I said infestation, and that gives the impression that it was more than one demon, but let me clarify, it was one demon with seven heads. Maybe that explains why it was attacking people in broad daylight. It had a lot of mouths to feed. So anyway, Abaye tells everybody in town to tell Rav Acha when he gets there that they are so sorry, but all their guest couches are already spoken for, so that Rav Acha would have to camp out in the Beit Midrash itself. Thus, hopefully, leading to a showdown where Rav Acha would, miraculously, because of his great piety, defeat the seven-headed demon. Now I know Abai is basically indicating that he has such confidence in Rav Acha that he would be able to defeat this demon, but at the same time, I don't think Abai is being a very good friend right now. No. So Rav Acha gets into town, he has no place to stay, and yes, he goes to the Beit Midrash to camp out for the night. Right as Rav Acha is inflating his air mattress, who should show up? Yes, yes, it is the demon, the seven-headed serpent demon. Shit. Rav Acha, paraphrasing our sister and Moses Doja Cat, said, We are enemies. We are foes. Who are you? And what are those? You are gross. I better pray to protect me from my woes. So Rav Acha began to pray, and Jewish prayer involves some bowing choreo. He was apparently so pious that each time he bowed, one of the heads of the serpent demon, it fell off. Until the demon was completely out of heads and thus, oh, defeated. So even though Abaye was technically correct, the Rav Acha had the piety to best his um, Beit Midrash demonic nemesis and thus make it safe for people to come learn again and fight over parking spots once more, Rav Acha was understandably pissed. He said to everybody, including, I'm sure, Abaye, who was probably hiding behind somebody taller, you know that if a miracle hadn't happened, I would not be alive right now, right? You know that? You all know that? And that would have been on you and all of your heads. Now, I do not know if Rav Acha ever directly confronted Abaye about this incident, although I kind of hope that he did. But I think we can take something away from this other than an extra head lying on the ground. If you have a potentially dangerous situation and you need a friend or colleague to help you handle it, tell them. Tell them what it is first. Send them an email or a carrier pigeon or something. They might be perfectly willing to assist you anyway of their own free will without you having to trick them into it. This may also lessen the risk of them suing you after the fact for reckless demonic endangerment in the workplace which is, as everyone knows, against OSHA regulations.